everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with a Watercolor Wednesday and one of my goals for this year was is to go through my stash, like to go through and try to use up some of the stuff that I have and this is the first collection that Chamel, uh, Chamel's first collection and I still have a lot of stuff left from it. I had it all in one of uh, the iris containers and I was just going through the stuff and I was like, I need to use that. So I'm going to use this black diagonal stripe as the background. I'm gonna add some gesso. And this is a picture of Mason uh, last year, the first time that he ever, I won't say put skates on because he had been putting skates on around the house for probably a couple months before that. But he actually, skated on ice and he noticed how different it was than just you know on um, a wood floor compared to ice because he could literally run with those things uh, in the house but once he got on the ice it was a different story it was freezing cold and that was back then he didn't live where we live so um, they weren't calling for any uh, you know milder weather so if we were going to bring him skating we had to do it that day so we just bundled him up really well and um, where the it was an outdoor rink and where it was it was um, kind of shielded so we didn't get the wind but it was still very cold and uh, so we stayed there for a bit and even when it was time to go he did not want to leave he absolutely wanted to stay and that's all there was to it but I mean we had to go I was I was like a piece of ice I was so cold so anyway I'm just going to journal about that and then it's something also that he said um you know a few weeks after that but um it just I'm going to put it with this and I'm going to put in the journaling that he said it another day but it was just so stinking cute so I'm just going to dry the gesso here and I, I took two sheets of pattern papers. Um, one, some of the colors in this collection sort of had some orangey tinge to it. And some yellow pattern paper. So I decided to put the black and cream, I guess, and the yellow and white and the orange pattern paper. That's going to be my color scheme. So the three colors is going to be black, orange, and yellow. And... And that orange is kind of a light red, I guess. And um, and his snowsuit is like red, reddish. So And it's got some yellow and orange on it too. So I thought it went well with it. I'm going to use some shimmers. And I'm going to spread it out over the um, gesso. And then I also took some of my gelatos. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm just spreading it on the packaging and adding some water. And there's just going to be a little bit that'll kind of peak on the side of the picture. But another thing I wanted to do was just kind of tone down that diagonal stripe. Because that thing is kind of does kind of crazy things to your eyes. So by adding the gesso and a little bit of color... It, it just kind of tones it down and then adding the other paper elements then it's going to really tone it down. So I just add quite a bit of color and I'm going to dry it up. And then I just took a piece of cardstock and this is some cardstock that I bought about 17 years ago. It was a wholesale company here in Canada. It was called Scrapbook Sally. And they started making their own cardstock and so I was buying it by the 50 sheets so this is it was black with some white speckles and I also have the navy with the white speckles so as I was um, packing up my craft room there I found those and now I'm trying to you know get them used up they've been in my stash for long enough so I you saw I didn't bother going in the middle to um, mount the photo I just went on to the side. I'm just keeping it close. And every time I need a black mat, I'm just going to be using that pattern or that cardstock and then using it up. Because when you use it as a mat, you don't see the 
the white speckles anyway. So now I use another piece of that orange pattern paper and I just put it beside the photo. I'm going to cut that yellow pattern paper in two and then I end up covering most of it on the right, on the left side anyway, or not most of it, all of it. So you don't even see it on the right side, on the left side, but that's okay. And then I took another um, pattern paper from Chamel, which is this uh, like film reels or film strips, film strips, that's the word. And um, I end up using the film strip, but from the six by six pattern paper, just cause it was smaller and I just like the size better. And, but it's the same thing. I just use it from the six by six pattern paper and I'm just gonna use it on, uh, or put it on on a couple of places on the layout. And um, so this is where I put the other piece of the yellow pattern paper and it ends up being totally covered, but that's okay. And um, so I'm gonna put the film strip on the other side of the photo also. Now this layout ended up, ended take me about an hour and 10 minutes. So, you know, it was okay, I guess, a little bit over an hour, but it's, um, I blame it on watching <laughs> my computer. I've been, for the last, I'd say two months now, I've been watching Burn Notice, which has seven seasons. I just finished watching the last show, like the finale, it was, it's over, it's done. Last night, January 11th, today's January 12th, and this will go up on the 13th, but, um, so it was getting really good. I mean, it was good the whole time, but you know, it, it, it's kind of sort of close to the end. So you, I was right into it. And anyway, so that's why layout seems to be taking me a little bit of time, um, but you know what? We do this hobby to relax, right? So I was relaxing, doing a little bit of scrapbooking and trying to get ahead of the game there. And um, so I used these Chamel stickers. On one side is, I think it's word stickers and on the other side it's alphas. And then I used some doodle, doodle bug tinsy type stickers and it's in the orange color which works perfectly and those are awesome I absolutely love them I got mine at uh, scrapbook generation and um, they come in oodles of colors I had mentioned once that I just love them and I wish they would come in more colors because all I had was black and Janet um, sent me a private message and she said they have them at scrapbook generations <laughs> in all the colors that you can possibly want so in the doodle bug colors anyway so I went and I ordered a whole bunch right away and I can see that I'm going to be using those all the time I've just had them for maybe a week or so now and I've been using them like crazy already so now I have quite a bit of stuff going on here. So I figured it's time to start putting it together because it's going to drive me nuts that it's moving all over the place. So I'm inking the edges with some Distress Ink in Black Soot. And I'm going to do that with all the pattern papers and all the embellishments. And uh, it just kind of, because those colors were kind of light, and my background was kind of dark and I was using dark uh, alphas too. I just find that it makes it look like it all belongs together. I mean, this is all Chamel's collection. So obviously it belongs together, but it was still dark colors with light colors. So, so that it, it looks like it really belonged together by adding that uh, black edge, it just made it fit. And even, you know, with these film strips, even though they have a black edge, by cutting it, you get the white edge on the end of it. And um, I don't like that. So I'm just going to ink all the edges. So like I said, today is January 12th. I go back to work tomorrow. So when you see this, I'll be at, probably at work. And... Um, yeah, they're calling for a major, major storm. 
And my job, it is not fun when it's storming because we don't close. We don't get the day off. We still have to go in. Whether there's three feet of snow, we have to try to go in. And uh, so that should be fun. That, and that's why I have a four by four. And um, I told my husband to make sure that he parks so that it's facing out. And plus, I have to leave really early. The plow isn't doesn't even go by by the time that I go in. So the roads are really nasty and by the time I come home it'll be like 25 centimeters that'll have gone like fallen so it'll be really bad by the time I come home so I'm not looking forward to tomorrow at all (laughs) but it is what it is right winters in Canada fun 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 and uh one thing if you've been watching me for a bit you know I absolutely hate hate winter like totally hate it but I'm trying to get fit this year so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get some um, well we have skis so we just need to get boots for my son and uh, we think we have a pair of skis that'll fit him and then we want to get snowshoes too so try to do a little bit of stuff outdoors so that I don't hate winter so much. And we have hockey, which I absolutely love. I love hockey. This month we have 16. They have 16 ice time in the month of January. So lots of hockey games, which is going to be fun. And um, so anyway, back to the layout. I decided to add the title right there. And it's, uh, I'm going to be great someday. And the story behind that is um, Dave went to, to get Mason to come over for a night or a couple days or whatever. Uh, I think it was just for the night. And he was just sitting in the back seat. And um, all of a sudden he says, Pappy. And my husband says, yes, Mason. He said, I'm going to be a hockey player someday. Oh, yeah you know cool and then he says yep and I'm going to be a great or I'm going to be great or I'm going to be great someday anyway it was just so cute so I thought man I better scrap that because what if he's the next Sidney Crosby right and then we'll have the proof that this kid at two and a half said that he was going to be great someday (laughs) and this kid that's all he talks about is hockey it's so funny like my husband is taking him skating once a year this year and indoors so that it's not as cold but see he lives around here now so that we can um you know do more stuff like that with him and um he went to visit my mom for a week and my mom said he puts his boots on to pretend it skates and then he just goes around the house and she won't let him play with with a hockey stick in the house see I'm a little bit more lenient (laughs) I'll let him play with a hockey stick hockey puck it's just material right ah but anyway um and uh anyway so he goes around the house and he pretends he's skating and then I always tell him that I'm gonna you know when he starts playing hockey I'm gonna be um cheering him on saying go MJ so then he says I guess he runs around the house and he goes go MJ (laughs) and my mom didn't know where he got that from so that was from me (laughs) he just um or go Mason or something like that but I I tell him go MJ and uh he knows who MJ is and so I'm going through the sticker sheet now and I found um A sticker that says, nothing is too wonderful to be true. And I put an ampersand and um, I took a a couple of cut aparts and one of them, that's where I put my title. The other one is, I'm going to put his nickname. I call him my little mason jar. And um, because his name, Mason, right? I I say he's my little mason jar full of love. So I just, I'm going to put his nickname there with those doodle bug teensy type mason jar. And then I just put that it was minus 40 degrees and he still wanted to skate. And um, like I said, we had him bundled up. There was no wind where we were. So it's not as if he could get frostbite really quickly because there was no immediate wind it like it was shielded or whatever 
but man, it was cold. So I put mason jar in one spot and then with the other alphas, I just put his initials everywhere, MJ, MJ. And again, because I, I'm already preparing him now that when he gets older and he's on the ice, when he, when he hears MJ, it's him <laughs> and to go and skate hard. So one of the, one of the stickers said ace. So I thought that was perfect. Cause I mean, I'm going to be graced someday. So like an ace and, um, I'm going to add some splatters in black and again in some orange and I'm going to use some India ink and I don't have any stills at the end of this layout because I needed to do the voiceover now and I don't have time to take pictures before I go to bed and because I have to get up at probably four tomorrow morning because there's a snowstorm and um, but there will be stills on my website probably uh, Thursday probably because tomorrow night by the time I get home it's going to be super late because it's probably going to take me about an hour to get home tomorrow night and that's it that is going to complete this layout so if you're enjoying this process these process videos if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up just to let youtube know oh i guess i'm not done yes uh because i've been scrapping a lot with my older supplies using page kits i'm kind of brought the twine back so i went and found some orange and white twine and i'm going to add it in three spots and i'm just using uh, my fine line bottle and in the fine line bottle I have some quick dry adhesive quick dry adhesive from scotch and I believe now that's it so thank you so much for watching bye